Hey guys, I'm CG Smoothie and my business is making games while taking names. So, uh, the day I put out the last episode of this series, I had a revelation, which I kindly dumped on my Discord in an excited panic. Let's see if I can explain the game plan through the art medium of MS Paint. I realized that with combat, there were only two options I could do in my 2D setting. I could do turn-based, but I don't particularly enjoy turn-based combat, and even if I were to do that, there are much better turn-based systems out there. If I went ahead with real-time combat, in my current situation, I couldn't get much more complex than attack the tile directly in front or around the player with the four-directional movement I had programmed in by the last episode. That wasn't going to cut it, because I wanted a complex combat system with multiple weapons classes and attack styles like magic and melee, with multiple attack classes for each, at least four for controller purposes. I also wanted the attacks to be dependent on which direction the mouse was, and the player would also face towards the mouse in combat situations. That last implementation was specifically because when Vimlark played my last game, closest to an RPG, Melon Knight, he didn't like how the sword accounted for the velocity of the player and not the cursor direction. For melee, I wanted a sword swipe, a helicopter spin, and a dagger stab, as well as a bow and arrow. Magic attacks would consume mana and be more powerful, they'd be things like fireballs, AoE, healing, and dash effects. Mana would also replenish over time. I also wanted players to have more control over their weapons, so there'd be different options for each attack, like a dagger that siphons health, or instead of AoE, just a quick explosion to harm any enemies right next to you. I also have ideas for armor implementation, such as armor that can increase move speed, or health buffs, or damage increase. But before we implement this, I've gotten sponsored by a huge friend of the channel, and that friend is... my channel. See, this channel has a neat little deal where if you hit the button right below the description, that big ol' red button down there, you can actually get news on all the cool stuff they put out, and that's really beneficial. Thanks so much for the channel to sponsor this channel, and let's get back into it. To begin implementing these features, I first had to rehaul the movement system, which required adding double the sprites to each and every character customization asset to account for the four new directions of movement. Next, to focus the RPG in a more fantasy-themed time period, I redesigned the base clothes to more medieval peasantry instead of modern-day attire. Then I created some basic wooden forms of each melee attack, as well as a staff and a tome and some fire effects. It was pretty easy to implement the bow and staff using the same skeleton I used for the archer man in a poorly designed dungeon. Then of course, I took a three month break to move into college. All I got done in that period was a couple tree tile sets and water. After my hiatus, I made the first enemy design. A skeleton was surprisingly hard to make in the small resolution I had with the outline art style I'm going with but I got it after a couple attempts. I haven't added any AI yet though, so for now he's just a dude sitting there in the corner. Then I added some effects through the use of billboard planes to make it look like fire trailed off the fireball and wind followed the arrow. There's no better way to describe this than a effect system using billboard planes. Then I added all the other weapons in. The long sword with the swing attack, which still might need some tinkering to get it perfect, the broadsword with the slash, the dagger with the stab, and the tome with the area of effect spawn. I also added some effects of the billboard lane variety to each attack. I'm still deciding whether or not to use a pixel perfect camera and honestly to see if I should still use the perspective graphics. I think perspective would look better and stand out, but I'm still unsure of how I could implement that and what I should do. But that's all for this episode. Next time, I think I want to add some more enemies and actually give them AI, maybe add an inventory as well. If you guys have any ideas, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!